Hello! Today we'll be talking about Largest Contentful Paint, or LCP. LCP is one of three Core Web Vitals introduced by Google in May of 2020. And the reason you may be thinking about it more now is because in May of 2021, these values will impact your SEO ranking. Google has told us that the three Core Web Vitals, including Largest Contentful Paint, as well as First Input Delay and Cumulative Layout Shift, will feed into search signals for page experience. To start with, for mobile search which means that if you get green across the board for the Core Web Vitals metrics, you may see a ranking boost on mobile search after May. You can currently see your largest contentful paint values in PageSpeed Insights and Google Search Console, as well as a host of other third-party and Google tools. It will look a bit like this. Here's a screenshot from PageSpeed Insights where largest contentful paint is in the bottom left-hand side. You can see that for this page, we're failing the Core Web Vitals assessment across all three of the new metrics. But with LCP in particular, our 75th percentile value is 2.7 seconds. The goal for good is 2.5, so we're not too far away. Just below that, we can see our green, amber, red distribution that shows that 73% of real world experiences for this page had an LCP which, which was classed as good by Google, as in the LCP value was less than 2.5 seconds. You'll also see audits such as this in Search Console that tell you how many pages are failing the assessment. This means that it's, the LCP values are slower in aggregate than four seconds, the threshold for poor. And this will give you an idea of which URLs to focus on for optimization. Okay, so let's talk about what LCP actually is. It's a relatively new metric to the world of web performance and it measures the last largest visible paint as a page loads. And there's a few things going on, so let's focus on the last visible paint to start with. This is the biggest text, video, or image element that is painted to screen above the fold within the visible viewport as the page loads. So for a product page, it's likely to be a product image. For a home page, it may be a hero banner. But the critical thing is that this is generic across all pages and the largest element is thought to be the most important. It's the one where the user feels like the page is nearing completion. So let's take an example of a page loading. This is what Akamai.com looks like when you first start to render the page. It's a white screen with some menu items. Shortly after that, you'll see some content appear. And at this point, there is a largest contentful paint candidate which is this text element on the page. It is the largest contentful element that has been painted so far. Shortly after that, we start loading some images and you can see down in the bottom right hand side, we now have a small image that's appeared, but the image is slightly larger in total pixels than the text, which means this is our new LCP candidate. A couple of frames later and we have our hero image appear in the header. This is now our final LCP candidate this is the largest element that will be painted to the screen. And so the time at which this is painted becomes our LCP value for this page. So key points are that largest contentful paint, like all Core Web Vitals, is measured in the field. That means it's taken from real user data from Chrome browsers around the world and aggregated. The values that are important for SEO are rolled up every 28 days, and that's what you'll see in Search Console. LCP candidates vary by viewport. So in our previous example, we saw that that big header image was our important LCP candidate, but on mobile, it may be different. And this is where the field data can make your distributions look different to what you might expect. So when testing, you need to look at all the different types of devices that your customers, your visitors may be using. And critically, the last LCP candidate matters. So if you have a big image that loads really late into the page, but otherwise the page looks complete, you may still get a poor LCP score. In order to remedy that, there's a couple of things we can do. Importantly, we need to prioritize large visual elements on the page. So that big hero image should be the most important thing after HTML and CSS. We can use new web technologies such as native lazy loading to give that hero image more bandwidth. We need to optimize the critical path. That means removing large CSS bundles, which aren't necessary, large JavaScript, which may interfere with the amount of bandwidth available to load the page, and prioritize everything that happens in order to get your largest element rendered on the screen. And finally, an obvious one is to make sure your images are optimized for the device and the connection that the user has. 
to give exactly the right sized image at the right quality to balance experience with performance. And that will help you deliver the best possible user experience and hopefully then improve your LCP scores as well. That's it for now. Hope to catch you next time.